We gather today in worship of the Divine One who created us in their own image of love, the One who calls us in that love, the One who equips us with true acceptance, the One who loves us without end as we are. With joyful hearts, let us worship God. And with joyful hearts, we welcome you today to Metropolitan Community Church of Windsor for Sunday, June 23rd, 2024. On that day, when evening had come, Jesus said to them, Let's go to the other side. Leaving the multitude, they took Jesus with them, even as Jesus was in the boat. Other small boats were around them, a big windstorm had arose. The waves were beating into the boat so much that the boat was already filled. Jesus was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. They woke him and told him, Teacher, don't you care that we're dying? Jesus awoke and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. The wind ceased and there was a great calm. He said to them, why are you afraid? How is it that you have no faith? They were all greatly afraid and said to one another, Who is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? Have you ever been afraid? I know I have many times. I've been in storms of life where I was extremely scared, anxious to the point of panic almost. Having God on my side, definitely helped me to bring peace of mind. I hope today's message can bring you some peace when you're feeling scared or anxious. Pray with me. Heavenly Creator, thank you for being with us. Thank you for calming our fears. Most of all, thank you for letting us gather in your name and in your love. Amen. In today's scripture reading, there's a bad storm, and the disciples are really worried about what might happen. When the storm arrived, the disciples got so worried that anxiety was their key emotion. But then the disciples asked Jesus for help. And guess what? Jesus calmed their fears, calmed the storm. Just like the disciples, in today's story, we too have moments in our lives where we get scared. And anxiety causes us to stress and worry. This story is a good reminder that when those things do happen, we just need to try to stay calm and remember that Jesus said, peace and be still, and do like the disciples did, <clears throat> just ask Jesus for help. When we ask Jesus for help, Jesus will do what Jesus always does, and he'll help us. He'll help us see and know God's light and love which brings possibilities and will help us in whatever storm of life we're struggling with. Jesus provides us with an inner peace that surpasses the peace of the world. Inner peace is a state of physical and spiritual calm despite the many stressors of life. This is shalom. Shalom is a word meaning peace, harmony, wholeness, completeness, prosperity, well-being, and tranquility. With Shalom, there's a wholeness, a wholeness that integrates our sexuality and gender identity with our faith. With Shalom, there's a peace, a peace with whom God has made, a peace in our innermost being with the LGBTQ plus individuals. If we look at God with faith, we can have peace in any circumstance. Finding your peace of mind and attaining happiness, contentment and bliss, no matter what storm of life you're going through. For many years in my early life, I struggled with the thought of being gay. I thought I was messed up in the head that I'd get over it. It was a major storm in my life. I prayed to Jesus for help, and guess what? He helped. It was as if Jesus said to me, Peace, be still. Why are you still so afraid? How is it that you have no faith? 
Jesus showed me God's unconditional, all-accepting love, light, and the possibilities for the future. And it helped me through that storm of life that I was struggling with. I knew that God loved me unconditionally, but it wasn't until I could accept that and love myself fully in the same way that I could find peace. For me, like most people, coming out is a huge relief. There's clear evidence that coming out can bring peace and can be a good thing for your mental health as well. It can lower stress, boost resilience, and help create a sense of belonging. Other benefits of coming out may include positive outcomes such as increased self-esteem, greater honesty in relationship, a sense of greater personal integrity, reduced stress and anxiety. Coming out can alleviate the stress of hiding one's identity and can help us grow closer to God, a more divine relationship, create generous genuine relationships with our friends, our family, chosen families, God. Coming out connects you with other people in the queer community, and you become part of that community with others, such as MCC Winter. There's also a sense of relief and less tension when you stop trying to deny or hide such an important part of your life. This peace is shalom. This is what God wants for us to have for ourselves and for others. Jesus shows us that he has power over fear, power over any problem. When God is controlling our lives, we have nothing to worry about or fear. Remember, you can pray to Jesus for help. And guess what? He'll help. Listen for Jesus to say, peace, be still. Why are you? Still so afraid. How is it that you have no faith? Let Jesus show you God's unconditional, all accepting love and light, as well as the possibilities for the future. Let it help you through whatever storm of life you're going through, whatever you're struggling with. Just know that God loves you unconditionally. Accept that. And love yourself fully in the same way so you can find peace. Shalom. Let us pray. Heavenly Creator, this prayer is regarding the many blessings, celebrations, and joys in our lives. Thank you for loving us. Hear our prayers. Amen. Dear God, this prayer is regarding the many struggles, cares, and concerns in our lives. Thank you for loving us. Hear our prayers. Amen. It is Pride Month. Pride is the celebration of the self-affirmation, dignity, equality, and increased visibility of two-spirited, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgendered, queer, intersexed, allied, and all the people who love them, whom God loves unconditionally. Thank you for loving us. Hear our prayers. Amen. This week also marked National Indigenous Peoples Day in Canada. Creator God, you call us, your church, to witness that in Christ we find healing for ourselves and for creation. Help us so to witness to your love that we may be found working toward healing and reconciliation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now, let us pray together a prayer similar to the one Jesus taught us. O God, our divine parent, may your presence be ever revered. May your peace and justice dwell among us. May your love and compassion live within and between us. Nourish us daily with the necessities of life, sustenance for our bodies, and inspiration for our spirits. May the forgiveness we give be that which we receive, the kindness we show be that which we perceive. Lead us on virtuous paths and distance us from evil. 
for your world is our world and your reign our reign, then, now, and always. May it be so. Beloved, this table was set for us long ago, each of us as we are, with a simple yet blessed and sacred meal. We know the importance of this meal as we celebrate as a true community of God's love. Metropolitan community churches worldwide celebrate an open communion. This means you do not need to be a member of this church or any church to be welcome at this table. You, just as you are, are welcome. It doesn't matter who you are, who you love, what you've done, what you believe, you and all of you are welcome at this table of love that Jesus set for us himself so many years ago. Jesus gathered at a similar table surrounded by people he loved. He took a simple piece of bread, blessed it, broke it and said, take, eat, this is my freedom, my acceptance given for you. We do this in remembrance of him. Then Jesus took a simple cup, lifted it, blessed it, and said, Take, drink. This is my love, my grace poured out for you. We do this in remembrance of him. Now please join me in partaking of these blessed and sacred elements of unconditional love, acceptance, freedom, and grace. Pray with me. Heavenly Creator, we thank you for this meal, these elements. Let us take them now as the nourishments we need for our bodies and our souls. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. Your support, your thoughts, your prayers, your clicking on the like and subscribe buttons below. And of course, your financial contributions are all gratefully appreciated as they enable us to continue this ministry. If you would like to join us in person at Metropolitan Community Church of Windsor, we meet every Sunday at Emmanuel United Church, 1728 Lincoln Road, Windsor, Ontario, Canada, every Sunday afternoon at 2 p.m. Eastern. As we end our time in worship today, let us leave in the unconditional, all accepting love of the divine who created us in their image of love. And may God who has created us, Christ who saves us, and the Holy Spirit, our comfort and our strength, be with us now until we can meet again. And all God's children said, Amen. <laughs>